If you keep accusing me of witchcraft in the comments, the church is gonna come for me. We left off with medieval inspired skies that animate like a flipbook, and now we need court card designs. The inspo here are the emblems from Claude Perrodin's Devi's Air Week, which depict divine hands emerging from clouds. So first, let's address the clouds. Starting with about 15 circles, a few on each layer and all on top of each other, I'm heading to object, transform, transform each. First, making sure that random is selected in the options and then entering in 50% in scale, you can already see how this scales all of our circles randomly between 50 and 100%. The same thing's going to happen with the other fields. I want this cloud to be wider than it is tall, so I'm entering in move values accordingly, and then finally rotating. Using the arrow keys to change the angle will generate a new result each time, so I'm tapping until I get a cloud-like shape that I like and hitting OK. Now I'm applying a subtle tweak to vary each circle's path and then simplifying those paths so that when I apply a bloat to these circles, the result is many different puff shapes. Following all of these steps creates different results every single time, introducing chance into our cloud designs. I have the top layer locked, and now with all of the puffs on lower layers selected, I'm going to object path offset path, and then repeating that a few times. Using C on the keyboard to cut these paths, I'm starting from the top layer of puffs and working downward, keeping the paths that define the outline of the cloud and keeping some of the offset paths to act as contour shading and then deleting everything else. Using the curvature tool, I'm adding butt cracks to the butts in the cloud. I just don't know how else to say that. And I have a little sprinkle shape that I've pasted a bunch of times and I'm using transform each once again to resize, disperse, and rotate those to create a randomized result that I can then refine. Last thing inside the cloud is adding a few more contouring lines for shading. To finish it off, I'm using the curvature tool to draw light lines radiating outward and then using blend to fill the gaps. Finally, duplicating these blends and placing them behind the cloud. This is already a long video, so I'll I'll show some stylizing steps while mentioning that you can pre-order these playing cards on my site. I'll check back in when the rest of the clouds are done and we're ready to draw some celestial hands.